But I didn't set out this way. I didn't know it was going to turn out this way. Show me the Here goes the man that started well, only to end up doing his own thing. This is business. This is good business. You're supposed to spend some time to learn that Jesus is fit. You're supposed to learn to know him. You're supposed to be taught the ways of the world. And at the end of the whole message, he just told the brethren to come together and to start hugging themselves, giving themselves only kiss in the church of God, brother. Have you not seen it in the Bible when the Bible says, give yourself a holy kiss? There is a time of preparation. For Moses, it was 40 years. For Jesus, it was 30 years. For just in three and a half years of ministry. And you know you have to suffer and die. Before we give our lives to Christ, our life has always been filled with the devil and the evil spirits. <laughs> have you asked yourself how and why others got extra hoy along? What I prepare for the future? God is not a man that he should lie. I do. Behold, I am I'm also prepared. You are not prepared. I would not have embarked on this journey with them. Charles, you remember what the Bible says in the book of Amos chapter 5 verse 4. So he's so diligent in fulfilling all of his promises. But unless every son of God grow in the Lord after salvation, they may not be able to enter into some of their inheritances. tell you, it was the bridegroom himself that gave them the extra heart. Hey, Bishop, could you get to us on our body? Flying to the bathroom. He will say, i not going to be Opo <laughs> 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 
lati ba Olorun pin ninu ogo re o iya mi o iya mi e ja mi lori oro yi ai se ibuni e ja mi lori oro yi to bi be se ibuda to ni to tuna meta n tun mo so fun ninu ni o ni mo fe ko ga ogo pale le ni we yo da ba ti ja si ko ni wa ko allah bo awon e lo wa o awon mi lo wa awon re lo wa labisi If you want to shake one boy, say what is bad for God? Do not you come? Eh, I hear be. Then you lost your loss. So today, our gang gang from Bobo Aye. Let it go, 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 go. Do not you know you go This gospel thing and you are already accepting. Calm down, you don't behave like this as a child of God. This man, he needs it. Ah, please, please, you have to calm down. Please, I have been telling you, please don't fight with your husband. Please, I, you remember we've been talking about this gospel issue and you have been meditating and thinking about, you have been attending church. Please calm down, please calm down. Please. Please, please, you know, the Bible says that the Lord does not like people that are striving. You can't go to heaven like that. Hmm? Please, please, I want you to calm down. Please calm down. Please, and don't forget, no matter what happens, you have to submit to your husband as a child of God. As a child of God that is ready to go to heaven, whatever will happen. And don't forget, this is your tongue. You have to watch how you use it. That man, he needs it. He needs it. Oh, you see, you have to bring you your tongue. The Bible says, this tongue is like a fire. You understand? When you speak like this, you can't remove your words again, please. The Lord will help you. The Lord will help you in Jesus' name. Please, I want you to change. For the sake of Titi, your daughter, she's a girl too. She will go to her husband's house. Do you want her to be behaving like this? The Lord will help you, man. Please. Please, I want you to calm down. Apologize to Daddy Titi, whatever he has done. Just apologize. Please, please. And show the light of Christ that is in you. Show it to him. The Lord will help you, man. Please, please. Just stop. Thank you. As I was saying, what agreement had the temple of the Lord with idols? What agreement do we as executive members, leaders of the fellowship, have with sin or anything that can take away the presence of the Lord from us? The Bible encourages us to, to separate from such and he said he will receive us. When we separate ourselves from sin, God will receive us. 
we will become his sons and daughters. I pray we will become his sons and daughters in Jesus' name. But there is no way we can become his sons and daughters and that he will receive us if we don't do his will. We must do the will of the Lord. We must obey him. We must please him in all things. May the Lord give us the grace to please him always in Jesus' name. Amen. Even as executive that fellowship members emulate, they see us all the time. May we lead good examples in Jesus' name. Amen. Right. And lastly, if any of you have a fiance or fiancé, you're smiling. <laughs> it's not about smiling now. Please let me know. Or if you are praying, praying about a particular sister, let me know. Please. Or you tell the vice president, okay. let him know. This is to help us to eradicate uh, four brothers, same daughter, the Lord, to one sister. I'm sure some of the sisters here can. Yes. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Please, let there be decorum in the house of God. And don't forget, the Holy Spirit has been emphasizing it and remembering us that brothers should not be sleeping in sister's house. Or sisters found sleeping in brother's house. In the name of I was cooking or I was washing something there. Let's keep our body holy. Let's run and flee every appearance of evil. May we not be escaped with you, Jesus. <laughs> so, um, <coughs> let's smile now, smile. <laughs> um, let's move on to the other uh, agenda of general discussion. I don't know if any of the department heads or any unit leader you have any reports concerning your uh, unit. Please go ahead. Okay, um, because of the National Academy Convention, the academic coordinator can be here. But before he left, he made me to understand that his unit is lacking some basic amenities. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, tutorial place is getting smaller for the ever-increasing population and he needs some basic things so that you can enhance their tutorial. Right. All right. That's a good question. All right. Go ahead. I want us to analyze the vision of brothers and sisters sleeping in each other's house. I think it's too hard. And I want the punishment to be said now, sir. Now. Um, I think the president has said it all. Let us leave such a person to go, sir, so that we can discuss on another issue. No, sir, I disagree. We're supposed to have a punishment for anybody that falls between such a mark. Fornication. It's because this is becoming more rampant. I mean, it's so called children of God's disease, sir. Sir, I think as a boy, what I just said, this is just one of the questions. Pray the Lord, pray the Lord. One hour, please, one hour, please, one hour. We will take a decision on that. I will get back to this. Okay? Um, I want to advise, I strongly recommend that we will be patient. We will take a decision on that and we will get back to us. Uh, we need to pray now. Uh, we will text the date and time of the next meeting to our phones or we are members of Sunday. Pray as well. Oh, Jesus, we pray. Pastors. Ah, bro, Danny. Did you enjoy today's meeting? Oh, today's meeting was wonderful. Ah. Most especially the president was of exhortation. It was highly inspirational. I bless God. Ah, I bless God too. You know our president before. He's always filled with the Holy Spirit that I am. Oh, in fact, he's talented with so many gifts. And God is really using him. Especially in this end time ministration. Pastor Shola has been a man of God. Mm. Especially when he was our uh, prayer coordinator. Mm. We have been enjoying God's grace and liberty. Mm. 
But now that is even our president. Mm. <laughs> Things have gotten better. We are now enjoying that grace and liberty as a high Is it spiritually, mm. academically, mm. financially? Mm. We are very, very sound. Yes, yes. That reminds me of what Boshara told me two weeks ago. What mm. happened? He said someone will come and give us a sum of 300,000 naira at exactly 2 p.m. 300,000 naira. In which I did not believe him anyway. Two days later, to my surprise, <laughs> an unknown person called me on my phone and told me he was waiting for me on Imon Junction. That is the junction in front of your house. Exactly. I got there at exactly 1.45 p.m. Mm -hmm. And at 2 p.m., he handed over the money to me. Exactly hey. 2 p.m. He said God told him to give it to us for the building project of our fellowship. I was totally amazed. I called the president immediately and told him the Lord has done it. Since that day, I have feared God in his life. He shared that testimony with me. He did? But he just told me that somebody gave us the sum of 300,000 naira for uh -huh. our project. Uh -huh. He didn't tell me the complete story but is a wonderful testimony uh, but, i bless god i bless you god see. Um, but hey, but when is our next meeting and as you know uh. that our meetings are supposed to be two times in a month mm -hmm. but because of some issues that we have controversial issues and we need to trash out uh. we need to, there will be a meeting uh -huh. this we, better, we, better, we better have oh, 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 no problem why are you excited i purposely need that issue in the meeting the other time which is I can't that? imagine what is happening among us. Especially the vice president. What did he do? He likes me too much. I don't understand this problem. I caught him red and the sister from his house. Sleeping there overnight. Ancient of days. Oh. And this sister washing his clothes, cooking for him. I sort of see I've seen enough. Oh. oh hmm. I've seen enough. Oh, oh. Hmm. But we have to have a meeting. Mm -hmm. Because there are many controversial issues too. Mm -hmm. Like if we have uh, an issue also with Sister Gwen Sola, the assistant sister court. I don't know what her fellowship is running into. But I believe that at that meeting we should be able to trash it out. God will see us too. I just pray that God will see us. <laughs> What myself and your father were saying is that we don't want you to do just ordinary course that will not have meaning. We want you to study engineering. We want the best for you. Mommy, Mommy you and daddy have to understand me. I don't have interest in that engineering at all. Talk to daddy on my behalf. Okay, if you want to understand you better, what do you want to do? Thank you, Mommy. I have interest in animal breeding and genetics. Keep your stupid mouth shut. What is animal breeding and, uh, animal breeding and, and genetics? If you know you want to sponsor yourself, you can continue to do animal breeding and plant genetics or what you call it. If you want us to sponsor you, you have to do engineering. We want you to become an engineer. Period. You either do engineering or you don't go to school at all. Yes. Oh, ah! Uh. <laughs>
To you. So far you are on the Lord's side. <laughs> no, and you are giving your life to Christ. <laughs> he will say to you, he will provide you a good job. Please, bro, follow me. Please stop crying. God, he said to you. <laughs> Please stop crying. <laughs> Don't cry again. Stop it. Don't cry again. Please. Please. God is said it's okay. It's okay. God is said to you. Praise the living Jesus. My God is wonderful. I believe we have all been enjoying today's program. And God is here to do a great thing in our midst this morning. So we are going into a session of prophetic utterances. So join with me to welcome our Father in the Lord. The President of His Great Fellowship. The one and only, with a standing ovation please. The one and only Pastor Arijoko Shola Cornelius. <laughs> Put your right hand on your head. Put your right hand on your head and begin to declare, I will succeed in the name of Jesus. I will succeed in the name of Jesus. Failure is not mine. Defeat is not mine. Performance is not mine. I will succeed in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare. Open your mouth and prophesy. Open your mouth and declare. Open your mouth and prophesy. I will succeed in the name of Jesus. I'm going forward. I'm going forward. I'm going forward. I'm going forward. In the name of Jesus. 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 I will succeed. I will succeed. I will succeed. I will succeed. Our God is moving. Moving to heal. To heal. To transform. To transfigure. Moving from left, right, and center. Moving from front and the back. From this altar, the power of God will move into the congregation and we be walking in the lives of some people. Move your right, left, and center. Don't let it pass you by. Don't let it pass you by. Receive your miracle now. All that shows, lift up the two hands to heaven. Lift up the two hands to heaven. Now, all that's watching now, you have to just stand back right now. Right now. The power of God is coming right now. I declare, I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Wherever you, be, you have been rejected before you be accepted. You have been rejected you be accepted. God is open for you. God is open for you. By the time you get home, you to get back to your family, you will receive a testimony. This one will be able to locate you. This one will be able to locate you. In that examination, you get yourself. As many, as many that is sick here, receive your healing right now. Now, I want 
supposed to be quiet now. Be quiet, just to have the power of the Lord. He's moving. He's moving. Now, all shots will be on my side right now. Because the power of God is moving right now. Now, even when you live in the life, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Aha, the power of God. Yes, 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 the power of God. immorality, lying, stealing. I want to say today, I want to accept Jesus as my personal Lord. You want to embrace Jesus and say bye-bye to the world. You want every appetite for sin to die in your life. And you want to say today, I give my life to Christ. Wherever you are, just raise your right hand. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All of you that you raise your hand, please just come forward. Come forward, come forward, come forward, come forward, come forward right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. As you come forward, just go on your knee and begin to confess to the Lord. Begin to speak to the Lord. Ask for mercy. Ask for grace. Tell him your shame that's from today. Tell him you don't want to go back into your sin. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Vice President, I pray. So I will pray. In Jesus' name. Amen.
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, I greet everyone. I don't want to take our time today. You know we are still going out for evangelism. Mm-hmm. Oh, by the way, we have copies of the tracks. Yes. 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 Now, back to our last pending discussion. So, what do we agree or conclude on should be the punishment for any executive member that we find that that is engaged in any unlawful harm? What's our conclusion? Any suggestion? All right. <coughs> Sir, I will suggest such a person caught in this act should be suspended for three months, sir. Three months. Oh, that's a beautiful one. Um, any other suggestion? All right. Thank you, sir. I believe that any executive found in that unlawful heart go for seven days for the first one. That's a great one. That's a great one. Yeah. Any other suggestion? All right, brother. All right. Thank you, sir. According to what Dr. Fenn said, that they should go for seven days for fasting and prayer. I think it's good. It's very fine day. And the person who wasn't suspended, but on the first suspension, the victim should be intervened and two investigations should be made about the matter. Because behind every suspension, there is danger. Mm-hmm. Right, Thank you, guys. Bye, Mr. Thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. To tell you the truth, we have all made beautiful suggestions. But you are just contributing, the Holy Spirit laid it on my heart. That we must be very careful and we must do it right. So do we all agree and concur that um, there should be thorough interviewing and investigation before suspension or consequent sentencing to fasting and prayer? We agree? Yes, sir. So it is now in the name of the Father, Amen. in the name of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Now, let us pray. That Lord, don't let me be a victim. Don't let for the nation of my own life. Don't let there be any food for the death of my own life. I will not bow down to the flesh. Go ahead and pray. Amen. Amen. evangelizing so it's about Jesus actually that we're talking about and our main thing that we have been sharing with other people uh, has been from the book of Acts chapter 3 verse 19 about giving my life because a sister read it for us I want keep her quiet no I want her to I say she keep quiet it's uh, about salvation that you should give your life to keep quiet keep quiet ah, sorry I said oh, I said keep quiet If I should call on the idols of our forefathers to deal with you, I will you hate yourself. Sir, I, I, I say keep quiet, I don't want to hear anything. But at least, can we just tell? Uh, I mean, I'm closing my eyes. If I should open it, I still see you here. Yeah. What uh, you will eat yourself?
Salvation experience. This is not Sister Tolu I used to know. Yes. Sister Tolu, talk to me. I know something is wrong with you spiritually. Sister Tolu, talk to me. What is wrong with you? Where have you missed it? Talk to me. Sir. It all started some months back. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. We was appointed by the fellowship to go and help our president when he was very sick. You mean your fellowship president? Yes, sir. The fellowship asked me to go and help him in his house. Then I was helping him to cook, you know. He was sick, he couldn't do anything. I was helping him to cook, you know, to wash his clothes to hire on to tidy up his room. It was a long thing that I started having feelings for him. Eh? Yes, sir. You know, I just started having this kind of affection. I started having feelings for him again. I got attracted to him again. Mm. That was when the whole thing started. Is that so? Yes, sir. In fact, it wasn't to me before I even gave my life to Christ. Before I gave my life to God, I was not like this. This, this place wasn't for me. It all started when I was appointed by the fellowship to go and help him in his house. That was when the whole thing started. You see, Sister Tobo, this is one of the things I was trying to correct when I was still in this fellowship. This is of this idea of sisters helping brothers when they are sick. All of these, all of that, cooking for them, washing their clothes. Is that by me now? But the executive wouldn't just listen to me. They would. Do you see the end result now? Mm. And this is a matter that must be looked into carefully. A matter that must be corrected. You see what, what has happened to you now? Why must it be that a sister will go and be cooking for a brother when a brother is sick? Why not a brother to take care of a brother and a sister to take care of a sister? I think this is a matter that needs urgent attention. 
a mother that you must carefully look into. And this matter must be corrected. The idea is not the bigger. The idea is from the pit of hell to destroy the love of our sisters and brothers. Mm. You can imagine you have been working with the Lord all this while. And your effort was just wasted just like that. Mm. Oh my God. Well, let's just leave that aside now. The most important thing now, sister, to me is your life. Your own life. And since it has happened, have you confessed your sin? Sir, you're talking about the president. Sorry, how will I see it? Oh my God. Please tell me about how to do it. My sister, forget about this item. You are talking about your own life. You will be happy. Sister Tony, Sir. do you still want to go to heaven? I'm not sure. If truly you want to go to heaven, you must confess your sins. I repent genuinely from it. In fact, as I'm looking at you now, you are a sinner. Yes. If I will tell you nothing but the truth, you are a sinner. And you must repent. You must repent and confess your sin. Then I, I know the Lord is merciful. He will accept you back oh. and he will make his grace available unto you. You see, um, the Bible says in the book of 1 John chapter 2, verse, uh, verse 16. Yes, 1 John chapter 2, verse 16. Do you mean I'll be the only one doing everything in this house? I'll be the one doing everything in this house. I will cook the food. I will wash plates. I will sweep the floor. I will not fetch the water again. I will be busy doing nothing, absolutely nothing. <laughs> and if the food is ready now, sincerely, you'll be the first person to eat. Huh? Mm. So what you are saying is I have not been doing anything in this house at all. Eh? Exactly. You got it right. And see, I can't continue like this. I'm tired. You can see you don't know what you are saying. I don't blame you. I don't even have your time. I can't stand you. I'm too busy standing and be back like a dog. I know you are drunk. Yes, you are drunk. Yes. What's your thing? Don't you know? That's what? I am sick of this. I don't have for this rubbish again. You mean I'm sick of you? Yeah. You mean I'm sick of you? Ah, ah, Jesus. Jesus. You're welcome, sir. Ah, Pastor, you're welcome, sir. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome, sir. Lord of Rose. Ah. I don't know, you don't need to see anything. We, we've been standing behind that fence for about five minutes and we heard exactly. all you said. Ah. Children of God, born again sisters. Ah, <laughs> please, you have to be careful. Don't allow the devil to find a place in your heart, in your speech, in your tongue. Ah. The Lord will help you, mm -hmm. sister. You me see? Sir, it's true that you are doing all the work and nobody is helping you. She's not supporting you. She's spending more time on reading because of the examination. But you have to be patient, okay? Um, the Bible says that can two work together. I said they agree. Unity is very important. 
Yes. And I know there is a reason why God brought you together. At least you came from different homes and you now live together here. It's for a purpose, for a reason, for a time. And also, Sister um, Tolu. Oh. Sister Tolu. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll be helping her. And uh, you know, she too will read at some point. Be helping her. Eh? The Lord will help you in Jesus' name. Um, well, we just came to just. <laughs> we are on visitation. Just to pray with you. Um, hey, do you have anything to add? Mm, I don't really have much to say. You have said the key words of this matter. But let me hear this. I want the two of you to always be patient. I hope you know that. Okay. Yes, I want to tell you that you're not bound for um for the friendship of Sunday. Okay. I'll be traveling on Friday. I'll be traveling home. So come back on Sunday afternoon. So oh. I won't be at the fellowship. This Sunday? Sunday? Yes sir. Going home? Yes sir. And that's, that's good news, sir. Eh? Um, the Lord will give you a safe food. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Bring something for the pastor. Yes. No problem, sir. Maybe we'll give you yam or cooking yam. Ah, maybe you don't like yam, sir. Uh, in that ah. <laughs> well, um, let's have a word of prayer. Yes, yes. Father, we thank you for these sisters. We we'll pray, oh God, the spirit of striving, remove it from their lives. Amen. Give them that power to control their emotions. Amen. Let the flesh be subdued. Amen. Father, we thank you. Amen. Let them begin to be live the life of Jesus. You said this. Chapter 18, verse 1, Lord, is your word. Who is that? It's me, sir. Come in. Come in. <laughs> ah, <laughs> sister, I told you. Ah, where are you coming from? Which way? Who's coming from? I don't know. Uh, I guess I should call me because of the room. So that when the rain subsides, I'll go home. Oh. And besides, I've come to start up now, start to survive. So I should just stay here. Yeah, so yeah. the rain subsides. Yeah, okay, it's okay. Now, ah, let me fetch you. Thank you, sir. You are welcome. Why are you calling mommy and daddy? Yes, sir. Let me get you. We <laughs> just have your sleep. Thank you, sir. Before you know it, the rain will subside. Yeah, yeah you can leave. Yes, sir. Uh, that was the truth. Yes, sir. Ah, we praise Jesus. The fellowship was good today. You know, we missed it. Please, uh, sister, to lose. <laughs> don't be annoyed. Uh, actually, I was meditating and praying. Okay. So, don't mind me. I will continue. You just feel relaxed when you are ready. There's no problem. Go. Yes. <clears throat> Please, just be comfortable, okay? Yes, Thank you, sir. <laughs> Leave now, it's 11 pm. It's still raining now. Look outside, it's still raining. Oh, eh? Really I can't hold you now. Maybe I should just you know, stay here till tomorrow morning. And maybe around like 5 30. I will oh, take my leave. I'll go. I won't just sleep over. I will go very early tomorrow morning. To, to stay here? Ah, no. Uh, well, okay. 
Hey, maybe I can excuse uh, the room and the uh, ah. professional to travel. Uh, and what of Sister Tope? She's not around. Ah. Nobody's around. Tope is not around. Tope so is not around. I've been to their places. That was what brought me. I wonder why they When it's still raining, it has not subsided. Ah. I, I, I wonder why all of them just traveled at the I same time. Tope is not around. Yeah, but at you at the same time you can't. Sister Tolu, you can't sit. That's right. Relax. Calm down. Sister Tolu. Wait. Relax now. Sit down. Don't be scared, Sister Tolu. What are you saying? Relax. What is it? You don't understand. What is it that you don't understand? Most of the people think that you don't understand what I've been seeing since.